With dozens of rockets launched at Israel on almost every front in the span of days, it's clear that such a coordinated escalation could not have occurred without close collaboration between anti-Israel allies. On Sunday, Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah met with Hamas leader Ismail Haniya and other senior Hamas officials in Beirut. With smiles all around, the two leaders discussed the latest developments in the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the recent flare-up in violence in the West Bank and Gaza, as well as the readiness and cooperation of the, quote, axis of resistance. I want to add the voice of the resistance in Lebanon to that of all the resistance factions in Palestine and say that the attack on the Al-Aqsa Mosque and on the Muslim and Christian holy sites in Palestine by these Zionists won't just explode the situation inside Palestine, will inflame the entire region. Back in May of 2021, following days of violence between Israel and Gaza factions, this so-called axis of resistance, which also includes the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, formed a joint operations room based in Lebanon. This has been used by the sides ever since to coordinate their activities against Israel. But a key player overseeing this partnership and facilitating it is Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps. I can only say one thing. Our enemies are putting us to the test again, and once again, they will discover, even in this test, that we stand together, united, confident in our righteousness, and we will act together with the complete support to our forces. While neither Hamas nor Hezbollah took responsibility for the rocket salvos originating from Gaza for Hamas and southern Lebanon and Syria for Hezbollah, both groups have effective control over these territories. Launches can't take place without at least tacit approval. And along with their Iranian partners, Hamas and Hezbollah see how events at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the tinderbox of the Middle East, have the potential to engulf the region in violence. And they're trying to add further fuel to the flames.